Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. With the relentless attacks that have been coming from Amber and her people against Johnny's camp, there's no way you haven't wondered how Depp and his people have managed to stay ahead. I mean, we all know they did an amazing job in court, but how about outside court? Well, they just did it again and I promise, you will be shocked at their ingenuity. So, what is this big genius idea from Depp's camp? It would only take someone living under a rock to claim that they haven't noticed the attacks Depp and his team have been taking since the verdict was given in his favor. And even way before that. I mean, it literally took Amber's lawyer only hours after the verdict was read for her to get on air and call Johnny all the worst names you could think of, while also insulting the judge and jury. And if you think all of that was enough for them, boy do I have some interesting news for you. You see, Amber's squad has moved on from attacking Depp directly to picking on people that have been educating the general public on everything they've been up to. And you could bet their first line of attack was against the famous YouTuber That Umbrella Guy. And in their latest attacks against him, these people actually sought out to destroy an operation that took a lot to build. And get this, was also dedicated to charity. But I don't think they were counting on him having a backup plan for their attacks. A little confused, let's backtrack a little. So, a while back, the YouTuber decided to create a clothing merchandise system that was hosted on a third-party platform, and it was based on selling those clothes to his fans and donating the profits from the sale to charity. And he actually did just that, but you know Amber's relentless supporters will find a way around that. And that was exactly what happened. Specifically, a couple of days ago, one of Amber's online supporters reported the YouTuber to the third-party platform where the merchandise were hosted and the supporter stated that Tug had not been tweeting about the donations that were made from the sale for the agreement between him and the platform. Now, this is a gray area because the man actually made those donations and even tweeted about it. But somehow, the Amber supporter got her way as the platform actually took down the merchandise from their system. And although that was very upsetting for the YouTuber, he just revealed that he has been working on a solution. According to the YouTuber, he is now working on creating his own platform that will host the merch and also give account for the purchases. This revelation was made via his Twitter account as he wrote, Big announcement, since Amber Heard, Eve Barlow, and other crazies false flag storefronts. We're gonna make a website and cut out the BS. Ray Haylock will be working with me. I'm excited. As you can see, the YouTuber actually mentioned them by name, and the Eve Barlow you see there is no coincidence, as this isn't even the first all-out attack that has come against him from their camp. Just a couple of weeks back, Barlow was under fire from the public after she launched an all-out war against content creators all over social media. With a keen interest in Tug, seeing as this battle between these parties has actually been on for a long time. A lot of fans had a thing or two to say when the YouTuber revealed that he had a plan B to neutralize their attacks on the charity. One user who was actually interested in helping wrote, Let me know if I can help. I got some skills with some things. I wouldn't pay Amber any mind if I didn't feel she was a predator. I have a solid track record of reading and handling predators. Cons, bullies, assaulters and narcissists. I get shit done and I have zero threshold for BS. Another user who equally supports him wrote, They haven't realized that all of their failed attempts to take you down have only brought more attention to you and your channel. More attention to you means more views and subs, which means more money for you and your family. Temporary frustration equals boosted finances in the future. At this point, it is obvious that Amber and her minions are just desperate in their attempts at redemption, which by the way, aren't working so well. But tell us, do you think they'll try to attack this next plan?